Hi, I'm Bill Ohms. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple drilling frame for ornamental lathe made with an ER16 collet extension. Now, previously I had shown how to make a drilling frame out of a Fordham hand piece and I've used this for many years. A couple of problems with it. First of all, the bearings are spring loaded. You can see that little bit of play there. And in a heavy load you'll get some chattering because of that spring loaded. There's just so much room there. The second thing is the collets aren't particularly accurate on the Fordham. Fine for handheld stuff, but there's only just a very small amount at the very end of the collet that grips the, uh, grips the tool, and they're not very accurate. As a result, your piece will go wobbling around like that. It's not going to run true, and that can cause some problems with your work. The third problem is the largest collet for this is a quarter inch, and when I have a my favorite thread cutting tool, it's a 3 8 inch shank, uh, so I have to have a long extension adapter on that, and I'd rather have something that runs true and can handle up to 3 8 of an inch size. Okay, here's all the parts that I used. Uh, most of these I made, the uh, tubing pieces. I started out with an ER16 collet extension. Uh, this is a 3 quarter inch shank, 6 inches long, and the ER16 collets are very nice because they come in a variety of sizes and you snap in the different size collet and put it in. The nice thing about the ER16 collets is they have um, very good support. Ah, come on, get out of there. Uh, very good support all the way along the shank of a tool. It's not just at the very mouth, it's the full length. So you have a very good grip on your tool. The first thing that I did, uh, since the end of my collet didn't have threads in it, is I bought a little um, threaded insert and press fit that into the end of the shank. Now I have a spot for a bolt to go in the end. Next I cut some pieces of aluminum tubing. Uh, this is just a little bit over 3 quarter inch diameter. I think it's 0.758 inch inside diameter tubing. And I cut this in several lengths so that I can put the bearings with a spacer in between and then a spacer from the very front to the first bearing, a spacer going to the end. I made a pulley that fits right on the end of that threaded insert. And then we have a washer and a nut and a bolt so that that all slides together. Simply put those pieces on together. Now these don't have to be press fit because I've got spacers on and I'm going to put a, um, a bolt in the end that will snug everything up. So I don't have to have a press fit on those bearings. Okay, and then a nut that locks them all together and that'll be the inside of the drill frame. The next thing that I do is I use uh, a piece of aluminum pipe for the outside. You could start with a block, but that's just a lot more work. So I took uh, a piece of aluminum pipe. This is Schedule 80 aluminum with a 1.9 inch outer diameter and about a 2 tenths inch wall thickness. I had to have it that big because of the size of the bearings. The standard bearings for 3 quarter inch inside are an inch and 5 eighths on the outside. So on the mini metal lathe I machined both sides of it to receive the bearings on each side. Now, ideally if you had a milling machine you'd use a boring head and get that very snug and press fit it. I cheated. I put some set screws in. Uh, it's not re really the right way to do it, but I'm not a machinist so I can still sleep at night. Now to mount the big tube on the tool post, I just use a piece of half inch by 5 eighths aluminum. I milled a little groove in the middle so that that sets square on the outside without wobbling. And then put a couple of screw holes and put a couple of screws in and that's how I attach the um, this metal bar to the side of the work. Ah, you can figure that out. It goes on like that. Okay, now with that attached onto there, now I can put that into my quick change tool post for mounting. And you might wonder, what's that flat spot there? Uh, I ran into the problem with my tool post. I couldn't get this all the way down low enough. Fortunately, I only had to take just a little bit off so that on the tool post I could lower that all the way down and still have the center of the work uh, centered with the spindle on my lathe. Okay, so now for the final assembly, just slide all those things together, put the bearing into there, get my spacer, 
get the bearing in there, the other spacer, the pulley, and lock it on with the screw and lock nut and washer. Okay, so there's my finished uh, drilling frame ready to put on the lathe. And so here's a final picture of the drill frame mounted on the quick change tool post. And in this example, I've got a thread cutter mounted in the end for cutting threads. For more information, look at my website, billohms.com, and click on the tab that says resources and look for the information about ornamental turning cutting frames. Thank you.